Hey students, I am back with the second part of your chapter Saint Ravi Das. I am Chavi, working as an English mistress in Government Middle School Ballankalang, Block Murinda, District Group Nagar. Today we will do the second part of the chapter number 4 of your English book Saint Ravi Das. I hope you are enjoying your new book. You must be learning many things from the chapters or the stories in it. So, this is the second part of your lesson, Saint Ravidas. But do you remember the first part we have read earlier? Do you remember that? Okay, let me check whether you remember or not. For that, we will do the recapitulation of the first part of the chapter. For that, you have to fill in the blanks in this paragraph. You have to remember those words. You have to thought about the words you have read in the chapter and fill it in. So, let's start. Fill in the blanks with suitable words on the basis of the reading of the previous part of this story or the chapter. India has been a place for saints and dash. Whenever the dash or dash life of people shows signs of dash, some saint appears. Ravidas was one of those. He dash new life and energy into the dash society. He was born in 1377 in dash. He was the son of a dash. His parents wanted him to be dash. But his stay at school was dash. He understood the dash of the society in the school. Ravidas realized that a dash caste child was not treated dash in the society. He was not interested in dash things. He was in search of a dash teacher to gain spiritual knowledge. He became a follower of dash who showed him the right dash and changed his life. He learnt about ancient Indian dash when the spiritual flame was dash, Swami Ramanand asked him to go home. Ravidasji felt that he had a dash mission to fulfill. He chose dash to fulfill that mission. To gain more knowledge, he dash an area of the dash to meditate in peace. One day during meditation, he was disturbed by sudden dash in the bushes. He looked around and found out that a dash was caught in a net laid by a dash. She was dash to get free. It was her time to feed her dash. In the meantime, the three dash came there. They were shocked to see their mother in miserable dash. The mother and her young ones were the picture of dash and helplessness. Their silent dash did not move the hunter. hunter. His eyes showed no dash of pity. 
he stepped forward to dash the animal and her young ones. So, students, you must have noted down the answers for these blanks. Now, let us check and complete this, this para. India has been a place for saints and sages whenever the moral or social life of people shows signs of decay some saint appears ravidas was one of those he infused new life and energy into the hindu society he was born in 1377 in Banaras. He was the son of a cobbler. His parents wanted him to be educated, but his stay at school was unhappy. He understood the ills of the society in the school. Ravidas realized that a low caste child was not treated well in the society. He was not interested in material things. He was in search of a spiritual teacher to gain spiritual knowledge. He became a follower of Swami Ramanand who showed him the right path and changed his life. He learnt about ancient Indian wisdom when the spiritual flame was kindled Swami Ramanand asked him to go home. Ravidasji felt that he had a divine mission to fulfill. He chose Banaras to fulfill that mission. To gain more knowledge, he beautified an area of the forest to meditate in peace. One day during meditation, he was disturbed by sudden movement in the bushes. He looked around and found out that a she deer was caught in a net laid by a hunter. She was struggling to get free. It was her time to feed her young ones. In the meantime, the three fawns came there. They were shocked to see their mother in a miserable plight. The mother and her young ones were the picture of misery and helplessness. Their silent prayers didn't move the hunter. His eyes showed no trace of pity. He stepped forward to capture the animal and her young ones. So this was the first part of your chapter. You have read the hunter came forward to capture the animals. What happens after that? What happened after that? We will read in this part. But before that, note down the words and their meanings in your copies. Learning new words and their meanings in the given context. First, essence. Essence, which means soul. Second, fragrance fragrance which means sweet smell Sec third is sacred sacred it means holy next is troubled troubled it means worried next is washed away washed away means to clean next is compassionate compassionate it means sympathetic. Seventh is spellbound. Spellbound. It means fascinated. Eighth word is distinctions. Distinctions, which means differences. 
Ninth word is untouchability. Untouchability. It is a practice of keeping low caste people at a distance. It is a social evil. Tenth word is humanity. Humanity. It means mankind. Eleventh word is stress. Stress. It means tension. And the last word is eternal. Eternal. It means lasting forever. Now, let us read the second part of the chapter Saint Ravidas. As Ravidas looked at them, his heart melted in pity. He felt it his duty to save the poor helpless animals from death. He went to the hunter and spoke like this. When Ravidas ji looked at the hunter that he is going to kill those animals, he felt that it is his duty to save those animals. So, he went to the hunter to talk. What did he say to hunter? Now, listen. We all are the children of the same God. God is our loving father. It is the divine essence that runs in the human heart as love. It is the divine essence that fills the rose with fragrance. Again, it is the divine essence that fills the rainbow with beauty. It is the divine essence that fills the birds with joy, the, the apples with juice and the voice with sweetness. Therefore, we should love every creature living on this earth. All forms of life are sacred. It is man's most sacred duty to bring peace to a troubled heart. We should never cause pain, suffering or death to any living being. We should love all things, great or small. Even a tiny insect in grass is as sacred as a human child. So, according to Ravidas ji, all are equal in the eyes of God, whether it is small, whether it is big. Even the small insect is the same for God. So, why should we differentiate? Why do we differentiate the people on the basis of caste, color, creed, religion? Why do you dif we differentiate with animals? They are also the child of God. The hunter listened to the kind words of Saint Ravidas and felt deep respect for the saint. The charm of the saint's personality and his words of wisdom washed away all evil thoughts from the hunter's mind. It was a miracle for the hunter. A short meeting with the great saint had changed him completely. The killer's heart was filled with love for God and all his creation. The hunter promised to lead a compassionate life and never to cause harm to anyone. Saint Ravidas was always very humble. He was different from most of the scholars and religious men of his time. He never boasted of his knowledge and wisdom. His divine knowledge came from within. His spiritual message appealed to every heart. People listened to him spellbound. He spoke in a simple and clear manner. He told people that all are equal in the eyes of God. These distinctions of caste, creed and color are meaningless. 
they are all man made. Saint Ravidas brought great hope for those who were poor, weak and backward. He filled them with hope, courage and confidence. He inspired them not to bow to the unjust demands of the high caste people. He inspired them to recognize the strength of the spirit within them. He asked them to stay away from all weak thoughts. He always said, untouchability is a sin against humanity. Saint Ravidas continued to guide and reform the society of his time all his life. Even in his old age, he had the divine glow on his face. All his mental faculties remained as strong as ever. His spirit remained untouched by the stresses of the material world. He led a spiritual life. His end was peaceful. A great soul on this earth became one with the eternal soul. So students, this was the second part of the chapter Saint Ravidas. What have you learnt? Do you realize what we do in our life? We differentiate people on many bases. That is wrong. You see in yourself. Do you do this? You will see, yes, at some time you must have done this. So this is wrong. We all are the children of the same God. God did not create the caste, creed, color, religion. He did not differentiate anyone. He does not differentiate anyone on these basis. These are all man-made. We people made all these things. So, the social evils prevailing in the society are all man-made. If these are man-made, who will end it? Obviously, we people who have made it will end it. Only then, the society would be a good living place for each and everyone. Now, we will do some exercises on the basis of the second part of our reading. Vocabulary expansion, suffixes. In the first part we do, we did the prefixes. Now we will do suffixes. These are er, or, ian, ist. Suffixes are added at the end of the word. These suffixes tell about a person who performs an action or does something. For example, cobbler is a person who mends shoes. Historian is a person who studies history. When we add ian with the history by cutting y, it is made historian. Now, add the right suffix to the following words. First, act, pot, run, went, paint, music, sculpt, report, electric, read. Now, let us check the answers for these becomes actor by adding or. Pot, potter by adding er. Run becomes runner by adding er. Went becomes vendor. Paint, painter. Music, musician. Sculpt, sculptor. Report, reporter, electric, electrician, 
read reader. So, these are the suffixes. Now, we will do some of the questions related to the second part. Choose the correct option. How did Saint Ravidas save the dear family from the hunter? How did he save the family of the deer? By punishing him with his sweet words and charming personality, with the help of police. Second is, what change was seen in the hunter after his contact with Saint Ravidas? What was the change? All the evil thoughts in his mind were washed away. He changed his place of living. He changed his ways of hunting. Now, let us check the answers. How did Saint Ravidas save the dear family from the hunter? With his sweet words and charming personality. What change was seen in the hunter after his contact with Saint Ravidas? What was the change? All the evil thoughts in his mind were washed away. Now, what were the main points of Saint Ravidas's teachings? What were his teachings? We will note down the points of that. The main points of Saint Ravidas teachings were, first, all are equal in the eyes of God. Note all these points in your copies. All are equal in the eyes of God. The distinctions of caste, creed and color are meaningless. They are man-made. Untouchability is a sin against humanity. Untouchability is a sin against humanity. God lives inside every creature on this earth, whether it is great or small. All forms of life are sacred. We should bring peace to a troubled heart. So, these are the main points of Saint Ravidat's teachings. Now, learning the language, fill in the blanks with suitable words. Here in the box on the right side, there are some words you have to fill in, in the blanks. First is humble, children, studies, equal, cobbler, eternal, sacred, kindness, 1377, untouchability. So, first is Saint Ravidas was a son of Dash. Second, Dash is a sin against humanity. Third, all are Dash in the eyes of God. Fourth, he was born in Dash in Banaras. Ravidas could not put his heart into dash. His eyes showed no signs of dash. We are all dash of the same God. All forms of life are dash. Saint Ravidas was always very dash. A great soul become one with dash soul. Now, let us check their answers. Saint Ravidas was the son of Cobbler. Untouchability is a sin against humanity. All are equal in the eyes of God. He was born in 1377 in Banaras. Ravidas could not put his heart into studies. His eyes showed no signs of decay. We all are children of the same God. All forms of life are sacred. Saint Ravidas was, was always very humble. A great soul become one with eternal soul. So, this was your chapter Saint Ravidas. 
Now note down your home assignment, learning to write. Write down the teachings of Guru Nanak Dev Ji using the hints given below. You have read the teachings of Saint Ravidas Ji. Now you will write the teachings of Guru Nanak Dev Ji using these hints. And the hints are submission, one God, goodwill, truth, sharing, honesty, chanting and the last five evils. You can use your own words to write down. So, this was your chapter Saint Ravidas. I hope you enjoyed reading this chapter. This PPT was prepared and presented by Chavi English Mistress in Government Middle School Balla Kala Roopnagar and that is me. Thank you. This is a good initiative taken by Department of School Education, Punjab. Thanks.